In this video, we're going to learn about molarity. We're going to learn what the definition of molarity is, and then we'll use molarity to solve a problem. Molarity is a unit that is used to measure concentration of a solution, and concentration describes the amount of solute that is dissolved in a certain amount of solution. For example, if you were to take some salt and mix that into water, the salt would be the solute, and the water would be the solvent. Together, they would be the solution, and so the solution is the combination of a solute and a solvent. And so the more solute that we can fit into a solvent, the more concentrated the solution is going to be. Now molarity is defined as the amount of solute measured in moles per liter of solution. And we use the letter M, capital M, to symbolize molarity. And if we wanted to solve and find molarity, actually calculate it, what we would do is we just find the moles of solute and we divide that by the liters of solution. So when you see capital M, you're really seeing moles per liter. These two things are the exact uh, same thing. Okay, and one last thing. When we are finding the concentration of something, uh, we use square brackets to symbolize concentration. So, for example, if we are trying to find the concentration of salt, uh, sodium chloride, what we do is we just place square brackets around it, and that is going to mean concentration of whatever's inside. So concentration of sodium chloride would be equal to moles of sodium chloride per liter of solution. And that is molarity. So let's go ahead and try using this equation to solve a problem. So this says determine the molar concentration. So this is just another way to say find the molarity whenever we see molar concentration, just referring to molarity, of sodium chloride if 45.6 grams of sodium chloride was dissolved in water to give a final volume of 500 milliliters. I'll start off by writing the equation for concentration in molarity. And we have moles of sodium chloride divided by liters of solution. Now I'm given the volume of the solution, right now it's in milliliters. I can convert that to liters by dividing this by 1,000, and so it would become uh, 0 0.5 liters. And I am not given moles of sodium chloride directly. I'm given grams, but I can take that grams, that amount in grams, and I can convert that into moles by dividing by the molar mass of sodium chloride. So I'd want to look at a periodic table. And I'd add up one sodium, you can see that right here, it weighs about 23, plus one chlorine, which is right here, weighs 35.5. So I'd add those together, and I'd get 58.5. And I'd find that 45.6 grams of sodium chloride would be the same thing as 0.779 moles of sodium chloride. Now I can take these two numbers and I can plug them into my equation. So I'm going to divide 0.779 by 0.5 and I'm going to end up with 1.56 molar. And so there is my answer to this problem. Now we're going to take it one step further and suppose I were to ask what is the concentration of ions in the solution? Uh, a lot of times we're concerned with the amount of individual ions. And the reason is because when ionic compounds dissolve, they're going to split apart into their ions. And so sodium chloride is made up of two ions. So when they split apart, we're going to have a sodium ion and we're going to have a chlorine ion. So it's kind of like a two for one deal. Now sometimes you might even get three ions uh, or more. In this case, we're just going to get two. So we would basically get twice the concentration of sodium chloride. So if we had a one molar solution of NaCl, that would be two molar of ions because we get two ions for each concentration. So basically all we have to do is take 1.56 molar and multiply that by two ions. And we find that we have 
one two moles of ions. And so that is molarity and how to use it to solve a problem.